yell so you want to make that kind of dirty ground that you just saw it is one of the most simple thing you can ever make the texture i'm talking about like the texture it is one of the simplest texture you can make and it is really helpful obviously because you have to have a ground and sometimes you just want to have things as quick and easy as possible so uh here you go so uh, first of all you can take this plane and make a plane like this by you know searching plane and making a plane like this all right after making a plane like this you can if you want to put a subject you can also put a subject i have taken rusty controller this is a blender kit add-on you can search uh, for models here so this is this is the model i took rusty control panel or something like that all right just for demonstration all right the main part is this the plane so we can go ahead and make this all right click on you know new and now this would be our new shader let's just go to texture properties and just search we need only three three nodes like noise texture color ramp and bump node the main texture that it would provide would be this and color ramp would uh, control the texture and bump would give it bump so let's just go ahead and connect bump to normal and color to roughness okay we are go uh, going to give roughness we are changing the roughness through this noise texture and we can connect this to factorial no oh wait factor factor i don't know what it is called but yeah uh we will connect this to height all right so now we can go to yeah we are already in texture tab um so we can change the base color to something like black okay so this is our base color of the ground so now what we can do is you know change these settings right so first of all well, I already have values for this, but you can experiment with this. I'm actually recommending that you experiment on this because that's the way you would learn. That's the way you would learn. We are putting very small scale and uh, full detail and putting roughness to like one because the ground should be very rough. As you can see now, it is looking more like a ground, like a rough ground. And, and this is basically it. All right. This is basically what you would do. And you can put the strength on something like, I don't know, point. Like it should be very, very like this. Point seven five nine two something like that now it is looking more like a ground right uh, more like uh, looking like a dusty dirty and rough ground so yeah that's how you do it and now if you want to make it a little bit shiny because sometimes ground can be a little bit shiny because of you know uh water or something you can change it with this color ramp okay so i would give it just a little bit so that it would have some kind of variation and this is basically it now if you would just you know render it uh oh wait before render it rendering it you can you can set up lighting well obviously you would know how to set up lighting if you don't know i have previous tutorials about how to do everything in four steps uh, you can check that out but basically what i did was you know the main lighting on top of it and and some few point lights here and there some few point lights here and there and uh, i put the power of like thousand watts of everything i think right everything is set to thousand watts 
So that's how I did the lighting. And it is looking, I guess, okay. So when I render it, it would show me the stuff that I want. It would take a little bit because I use that model and it is a little heavy, but here you go. That's how you do this kind of like dirty, you know, rough ground. It is one of the base, one of the simplest uh, way to make a ground and it, which gives it a variation as well so that it looks good. It's not like a plain ground. It looks kind of realistic. I don't know if it is, lo if it looks like 100% realistic, but it gets the job done. All right, so yeah, I hope you like this and uh, I guess subscribe and like and keep watching my videos. I'll be back with more stuff.